And now it's time to make it work. So basically we have done with the basic setup. We got our project ready. We got our properties set where we have OpenAI key, we got uh, the Anthropic key, and we got Olama running on this machine. Basically, we are running DeepSeek for this particular example here. Now, if you go back here, and if you go back to the UI, whenever I type something, example, if I search for what is Java, and if I click on compare the models, of course, any name there, nothing is working. Not even OpenAI, Anthropic, or Olama. Everyone says fail to fetch, and they are failing fast. If you can see, Anthropic failed fastest. Now, why it's not working is because whatever request I'm sending here, and we have seen the UI, so whatever request I'm sending there, it is hitting a particular URL or URI. So if you see, we are hitting this, which is 8080. Of course, our server is running on port number 8080. This is the URI I have to map. So API slash the model name and the prompt. We are sending it there, but we are not accepting it or we are not handling it. So let me go back here and let's handle them one by one. So in this video, let's handle the OpenAI. So to do that, we need to create a controller to accept that request. So I will just go back here, say new Java class, and let's name it as OpenAI controller. And in this, if you want to make this controller, and we want to make this as a REST controller is because we are accepting the request and then we have to send the response in the JSON format. So I will just say REST controller, and we have to do the overall mapping. So I will say request mapping, and this will be for slash API. And also, since I have my UI in running on some other port number, I have to also say cross origin. I have to mention the UI port number here. Or for this example, just to keep it simple, I will say start. Okay, now once this is done, let's create a method which will handle that request. So I will go back here and say public. It will return a string, but then I also want to send this status code so it makes sense to send that as a response entity of type string. And let's give a method name. So I will say get answer because we are sending a prompt which will, uh, which will call the LLM and then it will return the answer. And here, basically I will say return response entity okay with hello world, or maybe you can change this text. And to map it, we have to say get mapping and here, this will be a path variable with the text message. Now, if you go back to UI, this is what we are sending, right? So we are sending API slash model slash encoded prompt. And if I go back, nowhere I am handling the model. So I will say slash OpenAI. So this is responsible to handle the OpenAI part, not the other models. And then I will send the message. And message I, I need to accept here. But at this point, I'm not accepting it. I'm just returning hello world. And let's see if this works. So I'll just restart the application, go back to the UI. I will say, what is Java? It doesn't matter what I type, it should return hello world. And you can see we got the response here. Now, of course, I don't want hello world. I want this prompt to go to the LLM model, which is OpenAI, and it should return that text. Now, to do that, we have to do multiple steps. First of all, we have to accept the prompt. Okay, And for that, I will be using a path variable here. And I will say string message. So whatever message I got here, I will accept that here. And then I have to send this message to the open uh, the OLM model. And to do that, of course, we have all the things set. We have the key. We just have to request to OpenAI. And to do that, I will just say enter, enter here. Here, what I, what I want to do is I want to say string response. And response will not be hello world. Response need to be changed. Now, this is where I will call the open uh, the LLM model. So I will say LLM dot call. So of course, I'm sending a request, or maybe you can say prompt, and you can send the message. Now, the problem is there's nothing called LLM here. Of course, you have to change this. But this is constant. So I will, I will send a call method. I will call a call method, and we have to pass the message. It will return the text returned by the open uh, the OpenAI, and that goes into response. And this response, I have to send here. So instead of hello world, I'll be saying response. So nothing fancy, simple call, and it should return the response. But then this will not work, right? And for doing this, we have to specify, hey, you know, you have to go to OpenAI, you have to call the method, or you have to call this, and then it will send you a response. But the problem is, there are multiple models in the world, right? And what we're trying to achieve with Spring AI is we are trying to achieve that abstraction. So basically, we are saying, OK, for this particular model, let's use this and send the message and get the response. Now, for famous models like OpenAI, Anthropic, or Olama models, we have inbuilt methods and classes and interfaces. We have to use that. So here we have to connect with the chat model. So we have a concept of chat model. So if you go to the OpenAI documentation, which we have seen earlier, there's an option of chat models here. And if, when I expand the chat models, there are multiple chat models here. One of them which we are interacting with now is the OpenAI chat model. And it provides a way to connect with the OpenAI 
and that is this. So if you read the documentation, there's something called chat model. Once we create this object, I can simply send a call method and we should get the response. So that means for first we have to create the object of this. And the way you can do that is by creating or using this OpenAI chat model. And let's name this as chat model. And once you have this, I can simply use a chat model dot call. Our job is done. That easy, right? Now, the only thing is we want Spring to inject the object for this. I don't want to get the object by myself. And we can use a constructor there. So I will just use OpenAI controller, chat model, and this chat model goes here. Now, of course, this object will be injected by Spring Boot, and that's done. Once we get this object, I can simply say call. Now, you might be thinking, okay, Spring will create the object for this, but how Spring knows to connect with the OpenAI and which account? And that's what we have done in the application properties. When you use that, it will simply search for the OpenAI API key, and that's how it gets connected with the account. And looks good. It should work. I hope it will work. So now I'll just restart the application, Go back to the UI, and I will do the same thing. What is Java? Send. And this time you can see it is loading. It is sending the request to the OpenAI server and still waiting, and we got the answer. So maybe first time it is taking some time, but if I ask for some other question, let's say, who is Talisco? I hope it will not give weird answers. Okay, that's good. So you can see we got the response. So whatever we are doing, whenever you're sending, it's like a chat uh, thing which you do on chat GPT. You send, you put a prompt, you click a button, and you get a response. The same thing is happening here. It's just that we are not having the continuous chat, uh, but it's working, right? So you're sending the request to the server, and you are getting the response. Now, when you work with Olama, basically, you are running the service, or the you're running the AI model on your machine, right? But when you're using OpenAI or Anthropic, Basically, you are using the models as a service, right? So it's an amazing feature provided by this company so, so that it will make your work easy. So if you have an existing application, if you want to inject the AI capabilities, you can basically use these models as a service. Of course, they will charge you for that. And it makes sense because they are running these models on huge servers. So you got the response. So what we have done, very simple stuff. We created a controller. And we have this method called get answer in which you got the message. Now, if you want the response, you have to call this method call by sending a message and it will give you the response. But to achieve that, we have to use the OpenAI chat model. So there are multiple models available in Spring AI uh, as an abstraction. And you can use them and you can call them. Now, this object will be injected by Spring Boot, and that's why we're using the constructor injection here. There are multiple ways, but this is the best way, I think, and that's how it's working. Now, is this the only way? Of course not. There are multiple ways of handling this, and in the next video, we'll see what are the other ways. In fact, there's one way called chat client, and once we work with the Anthropic, I'll be not be using chat model there directly. We'll be using the chat client, and why? We'll see that in the next video. So yeah, OpenAI is working. Let's work with Anthropic in the next video.